Well, hello everyone. How you doing this morning? Welcome back to my channel. You're traveling with Jack. Hey, this morning, I don't have anything great or exciting planned. I just want to talk to you for a little bit. I'm in the big city here this morning, big city of Quartzsite, Arizona. So I just had to run in here and get a few things done. So I just wanted to take a, a minute while I'm sitting here in the parking lot waiting uh, just to talk to you. Uh, I want to bring to your attention something, an accident that happened here in Quartzsite a few days ago. And I know a couple of videos ago, I brought to your attention a couple accidents that was brought to my attention by uh, one of my viewers about the camper catching fire and the, the lightning strike. But today, I want to talk about something that happened here a few days ago. There was another accident here in Quartzsite, Arizona, where an RV actually burned pretty good. Um, I took some video footage of it, actually not burning, but I was there like a, a day or two after, uh, a couple days ago, and I took a little video of it, and I debated whether to show it on here or not, but I'm going to show you a, a portion of it just so you can see the damage. And then I'm going to come back and talk to you about safety a little bit and the importance, uh, how, the importance of being safe out here and being cautious. So just hold on. I'm going to play the video. And then after the video, I'll be right back, okay? And then we'll talk a little bit about it. And I'll give you a little bit more details. So, all right. So here it is. Okay, I'm back now. As you can see in the video, it did a lot of damage. Uh, that was a major fire. I mean, it totally destroyed. As you can see, it burnt all the way through. I I didn't show you some of the pictures from the back and stuff, but, you know, it, it damaged everything. It uh, basically destroyed their, their home, their RV. Uh, I'll tell you up front, as far as I know, by talking to people in town, nobody was injured in this fire. And it was started with a kerosene lamp and I've heard from two different people that it was a kerosene lamp that started it and one said it was a dog that knocked it over so I mean there's accidents that happen out here but uh, some of them can be prevented I'm not saying this one could have uh, but because accidents happen I mean they do that's the reason they're called accidents because they happen but as you can see I mean I'm not sure their situation. I'm not sure how many people actually was in the RV. I do know a gentleman said that there was a younger guy come back and tried to get some stuff out of it the following day or a couple of days later. But, you know, that could have been their home. That could have been everything that they have owned right there. And if it was, you know, it's all destroyed. And like I said, I don't know that. They may have a home. They may just been camping. I'm not sure. But just something as simple as that that you really don't even think about sometimes, you know, a, you know, a kerosene lantern, you know, an oil lamp. I mean, those can be anything to do, anything that's flammable can be very dangerous. So we got to be very aware of what's going on. You know, no matter if you're in a small vehicle like I am or, you know, a big RV like uh, this guy was, I mean, actually could happen. I mean, that could happen in here. I mean, if you're not cautious, I mean, you, you got to be aware of your surroundings. You got to be aware of little things that most people don't think about out here. And it's a learning curve. I mean, you learn when you're out here and, you know, I learn by seeing what's going on around me. Uh, just like this mistake here, 
uh, you know, hopefully they have insurance and hopefully everything will be taken care of. Um, but I mean, you don't know. So, but on something like that, I'm just thankful that, uh, uh, no one was, uh, injured in this accident, in this fire. I mean, cause it could have been a lot worse. Uh, as you can see, it was just sitting in a parking lot. You know, if there was vehicles sitting beside of it, you know, it could have been a chain reaction and caused a lot more damage than it did. So that's, that's one thing to be thankful for. And, and I'm sure, I don't know the people, I don't know the owner or anything about the, that situation, their personal situation, but I'm sure they would probably appreciate you keeping them in your thoughts and in your prayers. Um, because you just think about it, you know, a lot of us out here carry everything we own in our vehicle. And if something like that happens, you can, I mean, you can imagine losing everything. I mean, you know, that's pretty much it. So, but anyway, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Um, do with it as you will. But, you know, if you're out here traveling or even in your homes, I mean, that could happen in a house very easily. Just because you're in a vehicle, you know, all these accidents can happen anywhere. So, you know, we need to be cautious. You know, if we're charging lithium batteries, if we're oil lamps, we got lamps burning. I mean, just the littlest, littlest accident, you know, littlest mistake can be terrible, as you can see in the results of this situation. But even if you're boondocking, you know, keep an eye on your campfire. You know, everything in your vehicle, everything around your camp, just keep an eye on it. And, you know, be safe. We can never be too safe out here. So that's all I really wanted to talk to you about in this video. Um, I just seen it and, you know, it kind of struck a chord because I'm out here traveling and, and seeing these things and, and, you know, boondocking and living on BLM land and, and wherever. So... I just wanted to bring your attention, and if I see stuff like this, and you know, if I feel that it might be helpful um, to my viewers, I think I'll just start maybe doing some stuff like this also. So, but I hope you all have a wonderful day. Didn't want it to be a downer. I just wanted it to be a a warning, I guess. Just be safe out here, okay? All you guys, be safe. Be healthy. Be safe. Take care. So hopefully I'll see you down the road somewhere. Um, if you like my videos, please like them and subscribe. Follow me and we'll bring you some more. I just wanted to do this short one and get it out there just because it was something that's happening right now. So just a few days ago. So, hey, enjoy your day. Have a wonderful day and come back and see me. And you're traveling with Jack. Bye.